Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Sybaris medallion in front of Creative Guys. And yeah, guys, let's just get right into it. Okay, so up first, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a guard device. I'm just gonna quickly grab a guard device. And once you have your guard device, you're gonna place it down, just like so, and copy these settings. Spawn count one, allow infinite spawn no, character cosmetic, trigger fish. You can honestly put it to whatever you want, you don't have to put it to trigger fish. Sugarfish, I just put it to that because uh, there's uh, no option for Sybaris. And honestly, nothing really looks much like Sybaris. So I just put Triggerfish. But yeah, you can do whatever you want. Guard team option, team wildlife and creatures. Spawn timer, instant. Next, you're going to go to weapons. And then you're going to drop in the Sybaris gatekeeper shotgun. Because that's uh, Sybaris' shotgun. So yeah, I'm just going to drop that in. Oh, wait, what? What is it? Is it? Oh, I just realized it. Sybaris' Gatekeeper Shotgun is not a guard weapon. So, unfortunately, we can't drop it in there. So, I'm just going to use another shotgun. I'm just going to use... Let's see. I'm just going to use a striker then. But, yeah. I, I don't know why Sybaris' Shotgun is not a guard weapon. kind of wish it was. But, yeah. Just drop in any other shotgun. And, yeah, you should be good to go. Up next... We're going to go to devices, and we're going to grab an item spawn. And then you're going to place it right in front of the guard. And you're going to copy these settings. Items respawn off. Base visible during game off. Spawn item on timer off. Respawn item on timer off. Initial movement of item. Toss. Then, you guys are going to go to consumables. And you guys are just going to drop in a coin in here. Uh, now, we don't have any medallions and stuff. So, the thing that looks most like a medallion is the, the gold or the coins. So, I'm just going to use that. You guys can use other resources. Like, you don't have to use the coins. But, I'm just going to use the coins. And, yeah. So, if you are using the coins, only drop one in here. And, yeah. Up next, go to functions. And put spawn item when receiving from the guard spawner. Select event. On eliminated. Okay, guys, up next, we're going to need an item granter. And we're going to put these uh, somewhere where it's not going to be visible. Make sure that these are not visible in your map, because these are going to be the mechanics. So, yeah, just grab in the item granter, place it on the ground, and, yeah, copy these settings. On grant action, keep it all. Grant on cycle, no. Next, you're going to go to functions, and you're going to put grant item when receiving from the item spawner that we placed on item picked up and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to i think it's in consumables and you're gonna grab a signal remote guys it's i think it's on yeah right here right here uh you're gonna get signal remote a so you put that in your inventory and then you're gonna drop it into the item grant next you're gonna get a signal remote manager place it down and copy these settings Cooldown time, 1.5. Activate events immediately on. Up next, we are going to need a movement modifier. And you're just going to place it on the ground, like so, and copy these settings. Affect movement speed, off. Apply impulse, on. Visible during game, no. Use custom color, on. Color, aquamarine. Pad has collision, off. Next, you're going to go to function, and you're going to put activate when receiving from the signal remote manager there's a signal remote manager on primary action and on secondary fire so you're going to put it to both of these and that's it okay guys so as you can see there's a uh, Sybaris I'm just going to kill him real quickly and boom as you can see I got a shotgun and I also got the medallion and now I got the signal remote so if I press it, now I'm going to dash. I can press uh, any uh, any uh, button. I can press the secondary fire or the primary thing. So yeah, just basically press R2 or L2. Or, I don't know what you guys are playing with. But yeah, this is cool. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.